The administration of Chambogo University has confirmed continued forgery for students forcing themselves to the graduation program. The Vice Chancellor of the University, Professor Eli Katunguka, confirms dismissal of the university ICT staff for aiding students in max alteration while four students found culpable for the act will not graduate. These are students who have been trying to change their marks through some unscrupulous people in ICT. We have arrested two of them, two of the ICT staff, trying to change the marks of students. And these students approach them with some money. But there is nobody who is going to change your marks without your involvement. What motivation do they have? So some of those students approached me and I sent them back to the faculties. When I went to find out these are students who were found in that practice and their names were removed from the, the graduation list. Chambogo University students are cautioned on the forging of the graduation booklet to hoodwick parents and guardians. How we arrested it, we, this graduation list had to be approved by the head of department. Well, the heads of departments have original marks. You may change them in the system, but the original mark sheet stays with the department. So you will not access that one. So the heads of departments had to approve the list for graduation. That's how we got some of these students. In this forthcoming graduation, the university is expected to enhance its human resource muscles by graduating nine PhDs. We have eliminated many diplomas. This university used to run about 67 diploma programs. Everybody was on diplomas. Now you go and do a PhD and you want to fight for hours on a diploma and a certificate course. Why did you do your PhD? So we have focused more on masters and PhDs, and those numbers are steadily increasing. At least 10,926 graduates, of whom 6,118 males and 4,808 females will graduate during the 19th Chambogo University graduation slated on the 6th to 8th of December 2023. Komagum Rogers, Abdul Nasir Lubwama, for UBC.